Hey guys, Todd here with TradingAnalysis.com. Oh boy, did the Fed chicken out today and send commodities rallying. I don't think it was that hard to see, but let's dive in and take a look at the trades. Okay, so as I said, the Fed went very easy, only looking for two, maybe three rate hikes. Uh, we're not looking till anything for anything till July, so that's right after the European Central Bank got very easy. And I said to research customers, there's no way the Fed's going to come in talking tough because it would send the dollar through the roof. That would crush commodities, hurt emerging markets, and we're right back where we started. So we had trades set up in the commodity space uh, and materials coming in today. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are on Freeport. And I talked to you about this trade in the last free video. We're long Freeport, I gave it to you. The stock was up 10% today, sorry about that. Um, if you'd like to see the video, go ahead and click right here and now uh, you can link over to that uh, video. But we have this uh, front spread on. So we have this 10, 12 front spread as we described in that video. Uh, looking for a kind of a move up into this massive fib resistance up here. Um, I don't think it's going to get too much farther than 12, so that's why we sold twice as many of the 12 calls out in April than we bought of the 10 calls. We're trying to finance some call purchases with a call sale up into wave 5 resistance. The other trade we put on today was EEM. It's going to be a very similar looking chart, which is emerging markets. These guys are coming screaming back with the rebounding commodities and, oh, BTW, by the way, crude was up, I don't know, back up at 38 and a half bucks. So crude's looking just fine. Uh, we put the trade on in EEM. We have, um, what did I do? I did the March 5, so the weeklies that go in two weeks. 33, 34 call, debit spread. Uh, what did I pay? I think about 30, 31 cents for that trade on a $1 wide spread. Why only up to the 34? Well, it's kind of the same setup as um, FCX, right? So first thing we're looking at is a nice little wave one up here that breaks down into five clean waves. Uh, typically, your wave one will do a 1.618 uh, projection uh, compared to, sorry, wave three will do 1.618 compared to wave one. So we can just do that real simply in the software here, 3v1. 1.618 is right there. Um, plus, your, your third wave needs to have five smaller waves. Pretty simple. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And let's kind of uh, reinforce the zone. Let's go ratio analysis, five uh, verse one and three. And we're just going to start to stack the zone here. I'm going to do my next FIB study, 5E3, right up into there. And we'll do one more ratio analysis, 5E1. So you see that mess of FIB right there? That's your resistance zone. So guys, that's why we did the 33, 34 call spread, because I don't think it's going to get much above 34. Guys, so commodities are on a tear right now. The Fed is easy. Dollars should break down, which would help this commodity trade, which helps the stock market. The Fed is stuck. The minute they try to get hawkish, the dollar rally stocks sell off and they're right back where they started. All right, guys, good luck. You're still here? I guess you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and click the thumbs up button or subscribe to this channel directly below and you'll get the videos in real time. Or you're gonna have seven years of bad luck trading and you have to babysit Jake and Brody. Yeah.